This is Simona Mainini with Feng Shui for Architecture and this is the forecast for the year 2012, the year of the water dragon. There are three things that we need to keep in consideration this year. And I want to start with one that is not very much talked about it, but in my opinion is one of the most relevant things that we're going to experience this year. Um, we are at the point where we are reaching the peak of the 20-year construction cycle that started in 2004 and that you know, officially will end in 2023. But that is when it affects the construction timing of building. When we actually analyze the effects that this energy is having on a global level, then we see that also is affecting people pretty much on a worldwide scale. And when I say that, it means that the characteristics of the cycle eight, which is the cycle that started in 2004 and that is associated with the trigram can, are slowly reaching the peak. And this peak would be 2014. But we are approaching this peak right now. So what it means that when we reach the peak, the energy from the next cycle, which is the cycle number nine, also called the lead triagram, is going to start kicking in with some of its characteristics. So what's happening right now, we are moving from the cycle eight, the characteristic of the cycle eight, into the cycle nine. Now, the characteristic of the cycle eights were those of a mountain, and so there was a, a lot of solidity in it. But the cycle nine, instead being associated with fire, there is a lot more movement. So the combination of the two together actually um, have the representation, the symbology of a, of a volcano. So you have the mountain and the fire. So what means is that all this pressure that is building under the earth eventually would need to be exposed. We need to come to the surface and be exposed. And the way we are already experiencing that is all these things that have been hidden, all the things that were not public are coming out to the surface. So we can safely expect, not only for 2012, but as a trend for the next 10 or 20 years, to see more and more desire for transparency. And it's not a case, I think, that having the internet, which is also associated with the technology and the number eight, and the truth that is coming to the surface, and uh, the connection that it is between people with this information, I don't think is an accident. Uh, the World Wide Web is probably the clearest expression of this change. Um, so this is something that is here to stay and it will continue more and more. One of the things that is also um, quite um, evident, is starting to become very, very evident, particularly in the medias, in the movies, in the, in the music business, you know, creative people always catch up with the trend much faster, is a shift from um, the representation, a different representation of the female figures, a different um, representation of certain aspects, not just female in the sense of women, but also certain female aspects um, in, in characteristics of behavior. And, um, What's happening, in fact, number nine is associated with a female trigram, while number eight was instead a male trigram. So we're shifting a little bit in this figure. Um, you know, in the late 70s and 80s, we had um, the cycle seven, which was also a female trigram, but it, it was more related with sexiness and youth and playfulness. Number nine is a little bit more mature. It's, it's a vibration a little bit more mature and the characteristics are more of nourishing and wisdom. And which means that the women that are gonna be portrayed are gonna be women that are much more uh, professional, much more mature, they have something to offer. They're also almost like more motherly in a certain sense. And, um, and you know, the same characteristic will also be more appreciated in men, their wisdom, and their ability of, of creating um, a certain type of um, organization and, and, and work together that is very different of, from what was happening before when we had you know, maybe a central patriarchal figure. This is completely shifting right now. So this is one of the things we are experiencing and this consequently is also gonna lead to more harmony in relationship a relationship amongst all people to begin with, and I know in the 
right now doesn't look like because we have so many conflict on a worldwide level, which partially were the consequence of the past two years, where we had um, we had you know the tiger and the and the rabbit here. There were metal tiger and metal rabbit, so those were very conflicting years. And now instead we are having a year that is is a little bit more harmonious. So what we are seeing is is going to be more um, harmony amongst people but also in special relationship, in romantic relationship because of the eight being related with the element of earth and nine being the element of fire they are in a productive cycle with each other and so because of the characteristic that their positive characteristic that they both bring they're going to create overall a much more successful relationship so this is a time definitely where relationships are going to be on the up, up um, and on the priority for people. Now, what's going to happen also, what happened to the finances, you might ask. Well, of course, finances are in the background of our lifetime. Well, maybe not so much in the background anymore, but um, they are a very important part of it. But what's happening is that these finances, this financial success is going to be a consequence of very well established relationship cooperative relationship, group relationship, communal organizations as opposed to, you know, different type of um, organization that were all centered around maybe a head figure, this one is more of an equal kind and this relationship are the ones that are going to take us out from this financial crisis in the next 20 years.